Welcome back to the Orleans Arena, Las Vegas Wranglers, Idaho Steelheads. Game number two in the Western Conference semifinals. Wranglers won game one, three to one. We're back at it again tonight. Ian Tassel alongside Adam Huxley. Good to have you up here, man. Thanks again. Yeah, again, it, obviously it's uh, it's good to be here, but uh, you know, you'd rather be on the ice, but uh, <laughs> I'll do what I can to help the boys out here. Oh. Las Vegas, they got a shot. Two on none. Goldie and deep. Saved by Kuhn, and he's down. That one caught him, and he, he's hurt. He's still doubled over. Goldie had a chance to put Las Vegas on top. May have done the next best thing as Jeff Kuhn looks hurt. Jerry. Jerry Kuhn, rather. <laughs> I'm just going to be the name corrector. I'm sure that he took a stinger there. He probably took that in the collarbone or something. But uh, I think I think they're on a 2 on 0 I mean, you wouldn't want anyone to have but Ash Goldie shooting that puck. I mean, the guy can score from anywhere. But they're on a 2 on 0 Maybe uh, the other guy maybe talks to him, or maybe that was the plan. I don't know. Now Lampy goes hard into Kuhn. He's stoned again. And Kuhn's getting roughed up early on. And here we go. A little extracurricular activities after the whistle. Yeah, this is not what we want. This is their checking line. This is their job is to get under this line's skin. And we got, we can't be getting involved in it. Like, I know Judd is an extremely tough guy and stuff like that. And, and we've had a talk with him today and just been like, hey, you know, everyone respects you, knows how tough you are. You're also our best player. That's that's a respectable thing in its own. So is that. We don't want you getting involved with third line guys and muckers and grinders. We want you on the ice. Goldie pressed up against the boards, though, by Flickle. Looking for an outlet, finds Goers. Now back to Goldie, kicks it to himself, can't find it. Located by McGuire, there's shot, he scores! He breaks Josh, the curse! Josh London! <laughs> Six times the charm for Josh London! I mean, technically, we can't really say that about him because he arguably has two goals last <laughs> night. But that's the break the curse. But that's why Josh London and this line are so good. They're great shooters. That's almost posted in. Great job to pick it up there. The rest of his line did all the work. Ash Goldie started that whole thing down low, and that is an awesome goal. You know what? That looked a lot similar to the first almost goal he had right in the slot. Snapped it over Kuhn, and Las Vegas up 1-0. I know. To the trailer, Neal is shot wide of the net, and O'Keefe with a glove save. Unbelievable back check by us, and that's why all that space and time was limited. But as I was saying, so right after Neal suspended one game as O'Keefe is pushed in, and it's in. The puck is in. A scrum, and no one really even got a shot off. I think they're mad because they pushed the goalie into the net. So an interesting call there. O'Keefe got shoved into the net. And the puck went in after him. And, well, we got a tie game. Pulls it back. Medill pinching forward. Can't quite find the puck, though. And May will have to collect it in his own zone. Swings it up for Goldie. Back to London. Crosses the blue line in front for MacArthur. He scores! Peter McArthur, welcome back to Las Vegas. What a goal. And I said every guy in this line has a sneaky shot, and that's a sneaky shot. His release was so quick there. You know, Ash Goldie's got a quick release, and obviously you know Josh London does, and that was an awesome goal. He gets that up in a hurry. That's how you're going to beat Kern. you got to get that shot off quick, on a hurry. Oh, we missed that fist pump right there. Number 16, back in uniform, and what a talent he is offensive. I mean, let's talk about the play before there. I think it was Barry Gores made the pass. I'm not sure, maybe Mike Vidal, whoever hit made Goldie. the pass. Hits Goldie with a great pass. Well, you remember what I was talking about, Judd, earlier? He's coming down the ice and trying to shoot from the middle. See, we got so much speed coming out wide. Goldie pumps the puck out wide. Okay, Josh London makes an unbelievable pass back to MacArthur, and what happens? It's a goal. we got to pump pucks wide. we got too much speed to not use it wide. But that's an American League line. Here's Neal, a shot close corners, and O'Keefe makes a save, and Bo is none too happy about that late hit on Mitch O'Keefe. The gloves were off instantaneously. He gets right up in Neal's grill, and now they'll dance. I got a lot of respect for Channing Bo. He's put in some good hours I and mean, time fighting this year. And how about go. this? He's got him in the lock. And the hammer! Look at the anger in Channing Bowe's face right now. I love the way that kid plays the game. No, like I said, he's a beast down low. You don't let someone whack at your goalie. He takes a big whack at O'Keefe. You know, you can break a goalie's hand or something like that. I mean, we have Joey Fallon that isn't too shabby himself. <laughs> Not but a you bad don't want backup. Him. 
Well, he's playing really well right now. You want him. So Bo will head to the box, and Neil will as well. I like how the referees do that. They space out the box entry so the guys don't yap Just like getting other. in a fight in the bar. Do you <laughs> yeah. send two guys out the same door? No, well, if you no. do, you're looking for a fight. You want to <laughs> see the fight. So. I, I think that should be evened up. I think Channing gets two for for fighting. I, I don't think that's a fight. So I think Channing gets two for rough. But that first initial slash is brutal. So as we're watching the replay here. So there's the initial so shot. He knows he's got it. He has no reason to slash him after. And I give Channing props, but he probably could have not dropped his gloves so instantaneously. <laughs> but they've been getting into it for the last two games, and I think that's a rivalry between those two that you'll see even, you know, it could come to a head sooner or later, right? Well, Neil's one of those physical forwards. You already talked about his height, 6'3", 220, so he's a big guy. He's got the big hair and everything, and he plays strong. And Channing Bo just had enough of that and says, you'll take this and you'll like it. A couple of overhands and hop off that, just spun him around. That's a kudos to a guy sticking up for his goal tender. No, hey, that just lets them know, hey, guess what? You can't come whack at our goalie. You can't get in our goalie's face. I mean, they did the same thing with Kuhn, but they didn't get the penalty for it. But, you know, you got to protect your goalie. That's your meal ticket, I'd say. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Mitchell keeps our meal ticket right now. you got to protect him. Great guy. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to fight for anyone else. He's awesome. And then Channing Bowe does a great job there. That's exactly how Channing Bowe has to play. Ball <laughs> guy and a player. I can be, I a, can be a ref. I, so I owe you a Chalupa now. 2.37 left. Uh, there you go with that play again. Marty Flickle sticks his butt out and takes out Mac's leg. It's an obvious attempt at his leg. And now Mac will skate gingerly yeah, to the bench. I think he's got a Charlie horse, to be honest. Our Q will operate on him. 2.22 left in the second period. A period that's been uh, pretty well dominated by Las Vegas, though the score is 2-1. to one. They have had more and more chances as the period goes on. And here we go again. Lampy and the captain, Marty Flickle, having some words and getting chippy in game two. Yeah, let's just pray and hope Max, okay. I'm sure right now he's feeling it pretty good, but... I, I If I know Mac... I know he'll get him back. He'll pick a spot. <laughs> he's a smart player, and, and he's got a grit to him. I know, but I, like I said, I I love a clean hit, but he doesn't even have the puck. Marty Flickle sees him coming by, and I, I'm good friends with Marty. I, I went to the finals with Marty. I played with Marty for three years. We're good buddies, but there's no need for stuff like that. You can't You take out a guy's leg. You're, you're you know, if you, Let's say he caught his knee there, and he's got an MCL tear or ACL tear. I mean, that could be a guy's career trying to get this game under control it's the last thing you want to see is someone get hurt see uh there's they're starting to go after our best players now and lampy and gets this run. is exactly what they want so lampy gets run and he's doing his best just to back out of the scrum it's not a guy you want to see fighting at all well, the ref has to be a little smart here it's obvious it's <laughs> obvious that what they're trying to do Gloves have been uh, dropped over there in the corner, but it looks like the linesman will split it up. It looks like Ryan Weston over there in the corner. It'll be interesting to see what happens uh, here again as the dust settles. And other just clamoring of sticks on the ice and players with the gloves off. It, it's and now Coons getting into the bench. But this is something we can't get wrapped up in, okay? This is our best line, arguably. You know, obviously we have two top lines to go over that. But this is exactly what they want. They want to start stuff. They want ILO and Cody Purvis and, and their, their checking line. They want to take off our top line. We'll see what gets awarded here. As Weston's in the box and ILO is in the box. So there'll be at least two sitting as Coons still jarring with it looks like Lampy on the bench right now. We'll see what the referees award. See that the crappy thing about it here. Now, now they're going on again. But hey, I told you, Judd has to just walk away. It's obvious what they're doing, but the ref the ref has to see that. You know what they're doing. I mean, it's their it's their third checking line trying to take off our first line, but we can't get sucked into it. It's quite obvious. You got Cody Purvis, Chad Nearing, and Ian Lowe, who have obviously been trying to be match up with our top line, starting something. It's kind of obvious what their game plan and is right there. You can see he's pointing at the I, Idaho bench. That must be what he's saying. He's shaking his finger. Oh, I know. I know. Mooj is mad. He's saying. Yeah, you got the two best players in the league. I, you know, I've been on the bench. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's a little more color to that sentence. You got the you know, two this. best players in the league, and then you got these guys trying to get into it with them. Obviously, you know what they're doing, right? That's exactly what Moose is saying right now. And I, I wholeheartedly agree. Four guys miss at a time. 
We're back to full strength. Five That's on a high five, and Barry sure. Goers gets hit in the mouth, and no call from the referees. And Barry is not happy either. Marty Flickle and Barry Goers go after each other, and Goers just drops him into the ice. Enough of that. Barry's puzzled. Yeah, he got hit right in the mouth, and no call. That's what they want again. You know, they got low out there. Flickle's not. And now Case and Judd Blackwater are going to go. So Blackwater will be off the ice for a couple of minutes. And another check mark for Idaho. Whatever the plan is, it's working. Case and Blackwater are just having a friendly discussion now. That's all that it looks like. But either way, they'll be in the box to start the next period. And Goers, I'm not sure how you missed that. Right in the face. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a frustrating game. It's going to be a frustrating series. They are a physical team, Idaho, and they are a team that will get under your skin. 21, Josh London. I'm here with Josh London. Hey, Josh, it took you a couple tries to get one in. They finally awarded you a goal. I love it. You put it in, nifty little move. Walk us through the play. Yeah, I know. It was just a great play by Barry Goers getting up in the play, and him and Ash Goldie battled for the puck in the corner and just popped loose and just shot on net, and one finally went in. Yeah, did you have to make sure that it stayed in the net that time? Yeah, I just trying to shoot on net. Got lucky tonight. You got it. Hey, uh, Idaho ties the game right there, but you come right back and you get an assist and you give a goal to MacArthur. How big is that for the Wranglers? Yeah, it's huge. You know, you got to come back after a goal and try and get one yourself. And uh, we got a 2 one league going to the third at home, so we're excited. Great fans here tonight. Try and pull it out in the third. Hey, let's give it to them. Everybody, Josh London. That's your Lacey Gunavada off-ice interview goal. Keepest does. He may hit him, and he... Uh, Gives him a little tiny whack afterwards when he's not looking, and then he tries to get you sucked in, so you punch him in the head or something. Even with one minute left when they're trying to score. Seafus in front, centering pass, they score! Idaho ties it with a minute 52 left in the game. Wow, a scrum behind the net. Puck bleeds through the crease. Now there's still two minutes left. Idaho's tied us up. It's hard for Mitchell Keefe to get over there. There's a body body right in his way when he tried to slide across. That's a tough one. But you know what? You just got to regroup and go. We're headed for overtime. 18.40 left in the overtime. Stamler up for Pakovic. Rings it around the boards. Head towards the corner. Pakovic collides with Nering. Francis is there. Snaps one in front. Yeah. He scores! Scott Camp! I was going to pick it! <laughs> Oh, either way, who cares? Wranglers win. Three to two. Scott Campbell. Good. Soupy. Finish it off. Was, if I was hard on Chris Francis at all, I take it back because <laughs> guess what? That was an unbelievable play. He hits the back door. What a pass. And obviously, no one picked that one. He's hot. <laughs> you mentioned it, though. The four check. Pakovic in the dump and chase. Francis gets in the way. Centers it. Campbell Johnny on the spot. Game over, 2 nothing. series lead for the whole team. That's team. what I'm talking about. Get that rebound there. We got guys on the doorstep. But, hey, thanks for having me up here. I got to go down and celebrate with my boys. <laughs> but, hey, it was a pleasure. I hope I don't see you up here again. Thanks again, buddy. <laughs> Good luck in Idaho. 3-2. to two. Scott Campbell wins it for the Wranglers. Three goals in the last two games. Number 14. Looking awfully good if you got him in your office pool for postseason MVP. And the Wranglers take game two, much like they took game one. Wasn't as easy. Took a couple extra hockey minutes, but the overtime did not last very long. 45 shots for the Wranglers, 30 for Idaho. Francis to Campbell. You're going to be hearing that over and over. Next up. Idaho. That's where they'll be going Thursday night, Saturday night, and Sunday if necessary, but tell you what, if these winning ways keep up, those extra games may not be necessary. 3-2, to two, the final score here from the Orleans. It's time for your three stars, but before we kick it down, not to be ignored is the play of Mitch O'Keefe once again. Stellar in net, 30 shots faced, 28 saves. He's been phenomenal. 5-0. and oh. This postseason. Third star, number 15, Ash Goldie had a pair of assists, and he was phenomenal. Your second star, number 21, Josh London, had a goal and an assist. 
and your first star. Who? But number 14, Scott Campbell. The game winner. Three goals in two nights. Tell you what, Campbell's going to be wearing out that number one star spot. The final score, three to two. Las Vegas takes down the Steelheads. Two nothing series lead.